Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, characters of all shapes, sizes, denominations, and genders, welcome to uh, Tuesday. But it's Halloween today, so I didn't stream yesterday because I couldn't think of a game to stream. But that's not to say I haven't found a game today, and I have. Today we're playing Ixion. Ixion is a... It's been described as Frostpunk in space, which I don't think is necessarily a fair comparison, but it's relatively close, um, as you will see. But happy Halloween, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed Terror Select this year. We got a few more episodes for some games that we're wrapping up in Sound Mind, uh, Outlast Trials, and um, Visage a little bit. Uh, Sherlock Holmes we got to finish. You know, the usual stuff. But then we'll be back to our regular schedule of whatever the heck we want to play. But in the meantime, let's play some Ixian. By swapping over here, then I go here, and I go here, and I go here. So for those who don't know what this game is, this is a game about building a space station that can travel between stars. Simple, easy, and free. Is the stream choppy? It is absolutely choppy. What's going on here? Oof. Huh. Also, the music in this game is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, that seems better. Looks like Chrome was eating all of my processes, so that's good. Don't worry about the, the difficulty settings. We're going to play on normal for now. I could write an entire fucking essay, like a podcast, on the music in this game. It's so good. Casito Games presents... Casito? Delos AEC European Spaceport, Norway, July 13th, 2049. Launch control. We have typing clearance for shuttle launch. Dear God, don't fight. Don't launch anything from Norway. It's too far north. I think it would close the deflectors more than 30 seconds before launch, but whatever. Yes. 
for final approach. BMD Shell, you have been assigned to Typhoon Docking Bay. Welcome on board, passengers. Welcome to the Tycoon. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchy decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon. Property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will yep. keep track of the Sorry tasks that. that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. All right, so first things first. If you're wondering why her voice is echoing like that, why Eden's voice is echoing like that, it's because she's talking in my headset and also in this bay. So I'm hearing it from two different sources, which I think is actually kind of cool. Your first tasks person. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead, Marduk Council member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon, but this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. I don't like you. Okay. Build a workshop, got it. So, workshop. Uh, building the workshop right... Here is probably good for now. Roads are free. 
easily, easy to build. You just gotta have a workshop to build them. Uh, build a stockpile. We want that a bit more centrally located, so we'll build it here. Get some more road. I haven't played this game in a while, but I'm pretty I remember how to, so I'm gonna skip a lot of the tutorials. Oh, uh steel. Alloy, sorry, alloy. Click on the alloy icon above a supply to collect the resources. Dun 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 dun. Maybe not that one. Cause this can only hold a hundred units right now. Let me know if the game is too loud, by the way. It's a little loud in my headset, so. Docking bay, tech lab, crew quarters, and infirmary. Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus's lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Cool. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. That's As creepy. In the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munchie, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia. He believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. That's not ominous at all. A new request awaits your attention. Uh, so resolve the communal dining event. Administrator, Tycoon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Neocon protocols direct the construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute food from our stockpiles to the crew. Guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your competency as administrator. So basically, the way the DLS system works is people start complaining about the fact that they can't find a communal place to eat. And before they even bring it to my attention, I've already started working on it. Yeah, not creepy at all or anything. Uh... Interesting that they chose to name themselves after Marduk. Yeah, uh, without spoiling too much, every single name in this game is chosen specifically.
So there's a fuck ton of resources here, Jesus. Mess hall complete. Build a second stockpile. Can do. Pretty sure they're going to want me to assign this to food. Fast forward a little bit, because nothing is happening. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Bonjour, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you think? I'm Henri Bargeville. Writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. If that sentence at the end made no sense to you, don't worry. That's on purpose. Some crew members are lacking quarters. During human history, unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilizational decay. Do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes before the tycoon. Yeah, we can make sure everybody's quartered. 85, so... 15, 30, 45, 6. We need 6 total. Yeah. 4, 5, 6. Again, just gotta point this out there. This music is... Amazing. So we need to construct a cargo ship and a sign ship in the docking bay. So cargo and science. But oh my god, we need this stuff and we don't have a stockpile. So the game has already taught me how to deal with that. Just gotta build another stockpile. Did I lose somebody? I said I had 85 and now I have 84. That's weird.
Let's turn the game down a little bit. Alright, so they finished harvesting this one. So now they're going to start harvesting these two. And once they're done harvesting these two, I can build the road there that we need. I actually kind of forgot how good the song, the music is in this game. Yeah, like I said, I could write an entire, like, uh, presentation on, on the music. It's so good. So that is the cargo ship which is going to be called the Pridwin, and then the Nobel is going to be the science ship. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of one steel. All right. Uh, what can I do? Yeah, I can do that. We're going to need an infirmary at, an, at some point. All right, cargo ship complete. Pridwin out. Order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management system. There's three views in this game. Inside the tycoon. Outside the tycoon. This is actually not very useful most of the time, but it is pretty. And I can't get to the other one yet. Unless I push this button. Yay! Welcome to the planetary system view. So this is the Ushanabi. Ushanabi. Uh, they have 12 food for us. Which isn't a lot, but it's enough. We'll take it. Uh, and then back in. So you need one unit of food for every 10 people that you have rounded down. Why are we losing people? We're down to 79. We've lost six people. Are they getting injured? So confused. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, one food for every 10 people rounded down. So 84 is 8, 85 is 9 per meal cycle and meal cycles are every five to, uh every five cycles so so now that we're building these roads these guys are going to start building these additional apartment blocks excellent All right, so the cargo ship has successfully retrieved everything from the Urshanabi. We have successfully fed everybody, so we finished that one. The other important thing to remember if you ever decide to play this game is that the only thing that it costs to build roads is time. No resource costs. So getting close to all of your 
resources is vitally important. Alright, science ship is complete. Resolve the moon event. So we take our thing and we go here. There we go. A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right. Summary of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and can be used to restore power. Transmission from the Nobel's team. We have reached the UN base, abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational, awaiting orders. So we could hack into the surveillance system. It'll access the base's central systems and retrieve any confidential data present. Or we could dismantle the base and get its useful resources for extraction. Generally speaking, this is final. This is not. It's not always the case, but it is usually the case. So that's going to take a cycle. Grab me those. I want to grab all the smaller piles before I grab the larger piles. So the larger piles are going to take longer to deconstruct. Team has completed a task. We hacked into the main computer systems as you ordered and retrieved several relevant research papers and data sets. Now we dismantle the base. And that's usually the way you want to do it. Something that will keep the, the systems intact. And the game is actually pretty good about telling you when something will be final. Alright, everybody's got quarters. Trying to clear out some of these smaller piles of alloy. We're going to need to build this eventually, but not right now. I don't think I have the resources for it. No, I do. It's just alloy. This is bad. This is, I have one unit of space here that I'm not using efficiently. And I don't like that. It means I'm going to need to restructure things later, but that's for later. Half a cycle remaining. Now, this is the tutorial. It is absolutely possible to fail in the tutorial by taking so long that you run out of food. A science ship team has completed a task. The base has been dismantled, although most equipment was damaged. We were able to recover prepare some usable resources for extraction. Alright. So now we need now they're collecting the science. They don't get it right away, they prepare it. We need to build the tech lab now. And it is huge. So that's going to take 75 alloy, and that's going to really uh, diminish our stockpiles. 
which is great because we'll be able to clear some of these out. Might sound weird to be excited about using up resources, but space is the most important resource in this game. Proper space management. Where am I getting science from? Do they not have to deliver it anymore? That's kind of cool. Also, roads are important. Roads will get in your way. Yeah, let's not do that. I'm just thinking ahead. There's usually no harm in rebuilding things because you don't lose resources, I don't believe, but I could be wrong. Plus 10 from Almighty Dolos Buff. Medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Okay. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today, so I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol Engine Integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Construct the Vol engine. Administrator, reports are being received relating to Bargeville Clean optimization protocols on board the Tycoon. They indicate that crew members are being overworked. Although Dolos employment contracts make it clear that a high degree of flexibility is required, the situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. It would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew members or reduce the number of concurrently active workplaces. Well... Let's request additional staff. Yay, 20 additional workers. More workers means... Where the hell... is my cargo ship? People. Iron. Uh, actually, leave that active. That's fine. It's also Saturn, but we'll go to Mars first. 
So now we're at extra hours, which means that injuries are more likely. Injuries are bad. Imagine that. Oh, you want me to specifically research EVA Airlock? Gotcha. Or stockpile once we got those roads built. Oh, shit. Right. Uh, new people. Means new need for quarters. And once again, I have a space here that is going to drive me absolutely insane. All right, the UN has established a facility on Mars. Its crew are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fault in their oxygen supply system. They have submitted an official request to Dolos for aid. Uh, so we could do that. I would much rather have research data. got a way for these to be built eventually maybe I don't know build an EVA airlock alright that's going to require 12 power that I don't have. Hmm. And this is why I wanted to clear out the resources, because the EVA airlock can only be built on the top or the bottom. And... Yeah. Stockpiles are in the way. Have I looked up Tycoon, the name of the station? I know it's uh, something to do with some kind of philosophy, but I don't remember the details. How much did this take? One? Mm -mm. Fifty-eight. A 
Science ship team has completed a task. The oxygen supply system has been repaired and the relationship between Dolos and our competitor has improved by 42%. Alright then. Alright, gather up that research. It's a French-Italian ultra-left anarchist philosophical journal published from 1999 to 2001. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me for so many reasons. And 60. How much energy does this take? Three? Crap. We're about to be in trouble. Gotta turn this off. Specifically, want them to clear out up here first. Also, running low on food. It's probably not good. Oh yeah, trust in the administrator, baby. I got you back. Just a little bit more. I want to build it there. Do I want to build it? I want to build it like this. For reasons. Except I can't do that until I finish building this, so. Uh, but we've arrived at Saturn. Let's see what's at Saturn. 
Signature trace from an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions to the sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Mars. Let's see if we can find it first. Empower the Tycoon. So in order to empower the Tycoon, we're going to turn this off. Docking Bay Antwerp. All right. It's actually cool how they build things in this game. They build the structure as the items are delivered, and then they actually, like, build it in once everything has been delivered. Also, running out of power is bad. People freak out when there's no power. Boop. Then a handy little construction bot gonna come over. Gonna start going bzzz. We've gotten the Halloween exclusive event yet? Is there a Halloween exclusive event in this game? I don't think I've ever played it on Halloween. Usually I'm streaming. All right, we are now in dire need of food. Prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. We have stripped it down and recovered the schematics. All right, then. Specialization is important later. But first, we need to external construction. Build some solar panels for the low, low price of 10 polymers. No, no, we do have enough for the next cycle. Okay. Whew, that would have been bad. Look, you can see. Well, eventually. It is being constructed. You can see the percentages. Do these really just pop into existence? I don't think I've ever paid attention. Solar panels added. Now, we need to go to external construction and build the Vol engine. Which is basically already built. We're just kind of implementing it.
It'll only take one cycle to actually build it once it's done. Now we're running low on food. We don't have enough food to feed everybody. Once we build the Vol engine, we should be good. Which I think goes on this outer ring here, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, there it is. That one shows up. Solar panels didn't for some reason. Unless they did and I just missed them completely. Continued successful management of the tycoon. Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Bring the remaining workers from the Urshanabi on board the tycoon. But now, they've got 40 food, which is good. 40 food should be enough to get us to Proxima Centauri and back. No worries there. But... We need to be self-sufficient on food. It's just a good plan. There'll be three insect farms within the Tycoon in ten cycles. Don't worry about it. How many people are housed? Let's say. Should have plenty of people. Yeah, see, homelessness is increasing and then they're seeing the, the places they can live, so it's fine. Hey look, an insect farm. There's a lot of optimization to do at the beginning of the game because they don't give you a very good layout for a bunch of stuff. It's not too bad, but it can be a little frustrating. Just a little. We don't have enough spaces for people to live. All right, now it's bringing in food, so that's good. 
The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full bonding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others, like Dolos, who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Nope. Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief. But at least I can rest assured, knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light, and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Awfully, uh, downer thing there, my dude. Move the Tycoon into the orbit of the moon. Alright. So, the Tycoon can move. You just go... Tycoon, move. All power from the main grid will be diverted to the EKP systems during the 0 0.7 cycle Tycoon movement. Sectors will be powered by batteries. If you don't have any batteries, these sectors will be powered down and everybody will be mad. Because they can't eat. So never do it during a uh, cycle. Initiate the vol jump on the via the button on the planetary system map. Before that, I just want to make sure that some of these things are built. Just to, you know, make sure. And I can fit one more insect farm here if I need to. In fact, can I? No, I can't. Ah, it's four, not three. Damn it. I can put something else there. I can put an infirmary there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Alright. Remember how I said that this game is an existential horror game? In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Also, best song in the game.
the earth, our home. She is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is a horror game. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. You think? Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. I was supposed to be requiring immediate attention. the prototype. Increase food production output. Oh, already done. Restore Don't worry. Hull integrity. That could be important. So the hull is here. We are losing 28 hull per cycle. Fortunately, we can go here and say, uh, please repair. Um, and then two will restore 29 health points per cycle. But that will cost us our allies, so we're not going to do it just yet. Let's take a look at the solar system. Everything looks fine. Everything looks great. That's the Urshanami. Huh. All right. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay. 
Administrator, you may have noticed that the moon is broken apart. The crew are aware of this, and many rumors are spreading through the station. You have to make an official statement. Something must have happened during the test jump. Being such a high-profile event, it was the perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our plans. It's our fault. Despite our robust security systems, a system's failure at the exact moment of the jump caused the engine to drag a part of the moon with it into self-similar space. This failure has cost humanity dearly. Our mission now is to rebuild. It is humanity's fate. Evidence suggests a great deal of time has passed in the solar system. The moon's destruction is obviously a consequence of humanity's selfish and warlike instincts. Blame somebody else. Take the blame. This was inevitable. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. I'm sure it is, but I'd rather be truthful. Administrator, the crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the Earth. Munchy behavioral algorithms predict a decrease in productivity of 22% if those questions go unanswered. As administrator of the Tycoon Station, you should find some answers quickly. Commit to sending an expedition to Earth. So, they're worried about food. So I have to feed a thousand people. We only have 200, so that's five cycles, so that's not a problem. We need to research the probe launcher. Done. And I have to be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, hey, look, our trust sucks. Okay, so we're researching the probe launcher. We need to go to Earth. We also have no resources here, and that's pretty bad. A science ship has arrived at its destination. No signals have been received from Earth. The oceans seem to have evaporated, and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the Tycoon was last in orbit. Atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerously high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation, and microplastics. The blue planet will never again deserve its name. Well, let's investigate Dolo's headquarters. All right, so these are producing one food per cycle, which means I'm getting five food per cycle, which is 25 food per meal cycle. So we have plenty of food.
our, our food balance is positive, I should say. Yeah, current average production covers 125% of meal requirements. Um, one other thing that we are going to do... It's always better to build solar panels if you can. Has completed a task. The converted oil rig which Dolos used as its state-of-the-art the headquarters is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain, scattered across an expanse of dusty, cracked earth. There is no sign of survivors. 225 alloy, though. The Nobel's team, the Nobel's team will attempt to find your family home. Oh, uh, go here. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Oh, we've lost our almighty Dolos buff. Soon I, soon I will lay down my reins. My chariot is aged, its wheels creak, as do my knees. Hear now how the boards groan beneath my feet. See my shaking hands, my tearful eyes. Son, I am fit only to work the oxen and the sheep. The horses are yours, yours now to ride, to pull the heavens and to part the skies. Hold them tight in your hands, journey high and fast, and when you reach the horizon, cry awake, the night is past. I gave all my organs away to the destitute lost in the square, to the stray dogs and to the barren trees. I returned whole without fruit. Tycoon sensor array error. Incalculable fragment count. In fact, we can actually see what the moon looks like, and it's not cool. Oh yeah, this is a horror game. <laughs> a science ship team Next has completed a task. Earth, what remains of us? A huge crevasse cuts through the ground where your home once stood. There is no trace of civilization. Scour the globe in search of survivors. All right, put your money down. How, what are the chances we're going to find survivors? Do we know how long it's been? We do not. We have zero idea how long it's been.
I'll give the scientific answer of a non-zero chance. It's a good, ch a good answer. A good answer. We got a cycle and a half before we'll know. Don't grab those yet. We don't have a spot for them. So once the meal cycle is done, boop, and then we gotta put 20 over here. After a long search, we have found nothing but rubble. We've seen no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunaclism appears to have caused a series of events that precipitated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. Earth has become a toxic and arid wasteland scoured by harsh winds, now more inhospitable than Mars. The only remnant of civilization we found was a fallen steli, uh, steli uh, basically a statue rock thing, where the city of Washington once stood, stuck in a crevasse that had been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on its surface. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Administrator, to safeguard humanity, we must find survivors and increase the station's population. Do not have time to go through the classic reproductive cycle of your species. Adding new members to the Tycoon's crew will have a positive impact on morale. Cryonic stasis, a practice pioneered by Dolos, was in growing use even before we left the solar system. There's a very high likelihood that cryonic pods containing survivors await discovery. Administrator, mission reports from the expedition to Earth are being discussed among the crew. The thought of having lost all loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. The symptoms of this trauma have now been collated under the medical designation Dead Earth Sickness. Dead Earth Sickness constantly drains sector stability. Constantly. Uh, do that one. I'm going to need it. Also, Dead Earth Sickness only gets worse, never better. Also, yeah, zero survivors. Earth is completely dead. Nobody there. Never again there will be people there. Uh, build me a probe. Also, in case anybody is terribly curious why I'm letting the hull deteriorate, the longer you go, the more it will fix. The higher the hull integrity is, the longer it will take EVA airlocks to identify new breaches to repair, lowering their efficiency. So, you let the hull integrity go down and then you build it back up. That's not necessarily going to be good later, but it is good now. So... You know what? I don't like that. Oh, 
All right, we need to find an asteroid with iron deposits using our probe. So probes. are kind of like Mass Effect scanning. Right, these can only feed 500 people at a time. Minus one from the death of Earth. That's right, it takes forever to purge waste. I forgot. There's something over there. Crap, I'm full up on steel, or alloy. That's no good. Nope, oh, wait. Cancel that. All right, all science has been retrieved. Good. A probe has completed its scan. Ugh. The inefficient spacing. It burns me. Probe has completed its scan and discovered a new point of interest. The asteroid belt. But in the meantime, let's have this guy go to the Urshanabe. See if we can find out what happened. Looks like we finally got all of this, the alloy. It's just polymer and electronics to grab. We need to stockpile for those electronics, but not yet. We need as much of that alloy as we can grab, too. There's a lot of ice there. There. There's a point of interest there. A 
A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, Urshanabi, what the hell? Our sensors have detected the Urshanabi. The ship is broken in two and is not transmitting any signals. The phrase, whoever helps Dolos is an enemy of humanity, has been do uh, daubed in large letters on the wreck of the Urshanabi. Mummified bodies have been attached to its hull. Well, that's not creepy at all. Debris field. The ship was full of food. I hope the expiration date hasn't passed. Everything is ready for extraction. So yeah, we have no idea what day it is. No idea. Which is also kind of terrifying. Uh, okay. Gonna need to grab those electronics so that we can build the cryonic center, because this is vital. This is, like, super important. Something of interest here? That's Mars, okay. Okay, so we've grabbed everything except for everything from Earth we've grabbed. Now, one thing that does drive me nuts about this game, even though there are resources here that we could use here, they won't transfer them to the project directly. They have to put it in the stockpile first. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. We've detected a signal broadcasting Caution. on a dope. Hull integrity below 50%. It's fine. Detected a signal broadcasting on a Dolos frequency. It originates from a mineral extraction station named the Stanford facility. We theorize that the Stanford facility will contain many materials useful to the tycoon and its crew. In order to retrieve them, we need to dismantle elements of the structure to gain entrance. A control center has been identified, but it's sealed off by a shutter with a UN emblem stenciled over it. Message has been written beneath the emblem in an unknown language. We have no idea what it says, but it's accompanied by a helical shaped symbol. 
So you can leave. You can blow your way in, uh, which takes less time but has a chance of blowing stuff up. Or we can dismantle a part of the facility. Oh, we need to construct a mining ship. All right, so we got a steel mill. We've somehow lost another worker. I don't know what the hell happened to him. I guess he killed himself. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. The integrity of the hull fell below 75%. Current damage exceeds the tolerance level set by Nihei Structural Theory. Be wise to commission repairs so as to prevent further mission failure. This will upset people. Fine, I will waste our limited resources. Good lord. Mars! A lot of ice there. Ice is important later. Silicon, ooh. Any carbon? There's carbon. At the beginning of the game, uh, research points are very easy to get. Later, you have to work for it. But for now, it's good. Yay, I have a mining ship. It is the good ship, uh, Bardish. Mine 462 iron, all right. Still trying to blast our way in there. The Vol engine status is disabled because it's broken. And we don't know where we're going anyway. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. Matching the character of Marduk Council member Philip Stanford, meticulously organized resource packets were found in the facility storage area. They've been prepared for extraction, and we found 40 cryogenics. Which, that's actually not very much. It's just some food, which we don't actually need right now, and some cryogenics so that we can get some people. Once we're done collecting that science, we'll head for this debris field here, and then we'll head to Mars. Sixty-nine. Nice. Uh, start grabbing people, too.
A science ship has arrived at its destination. We have verified the data several times and can confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which, even in its ruined state, makes the tycoon looks like it look like an insect. No signals have been detected. We have identified three areas for investigation. The core of the structure, a secondary structure that looks to be the remains of a destroyed loading dock, and a particularly dense area of the debris field close to the other two sites. We recommend the utmost caution to be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. Investigate the core of the structure. This is one of those you can do all three of them, so I'm not too worried about it. It just takes time. Tecla Scion. Technology polymer refinery has been unlocked. Good. Now research electronics refinery. That'll take 45, and then we need 45 and 45. We have, with research, you want to get to tier two as fast as possible. Um, this is tier zero, tier one, tier, sorry, tier three. Nope, it says tier two. So this is automatic, tier one, tier two, tier zero, tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier three is not as important, it is helpful, but tier two has some of the most important technologies. Oh, purging waste, all right. He's got 20 people. A science ship team has completed a task. First visuals reveal a huge damaged structure surrounded by arches that are, have <coughs> detached from their central axes. These arches show extreme signs of deterioration. The structure is covered in traces of explosive residue, collision impacts, and scarring from unknown weaponry. After exploring the few areas of the structure that remain accessible, the team at the Nobel spotted a number of salvageable resources near a ruined assembly area. Further analysis is possible, but will take time. Yeah, let's do that. Look, people, they're going to be taken to the cryonic center. They're going to wake up. Now, the thing is, all of our people so far have been workers. Not everybody that we wake up is going to be able to work. And that's frustrating. Oh, right. Access to the sector is restricted under Dolos AEC test protocols. To force entry, electronics and polymer must be spent to manually override the gateway's lock algorithms. Additionally, basic functioning of the, ne the sector necessitates the transfer of food, alloy, and workers. So, you need to spend one electronics, 80 alloy, 16 food, and 40 people to go to a new sector. Quick, contact Baskin Robbins. More ice cream. <laughs> yeah, see, we have two non-workers now. Non-workers literally do nothing. They are just a drain on your resources. Hey, we have more than enough food. It's all stockpiled. Hooray. Oh, no, I guess it is rounded up. So it's current population divided by 10 rounded up.
Yay, we fed the crew. Stop waking up non-work. You can tell them to not wake up non-workers. People will get mad. According to Claim Predictive Modeling, reaching 0% will result in mutiny. Nihei Evaluation to Tycoon Structural Integrity. Depletion will result in the destruction of the station. Still working on that. All right. Cargo ship coming in with more people. Do, 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 do. All right, another tech unlocked. Great. Oh, and we gotta get battery. Ugh. Problem is, we don't have enough research to get that, so we're gonna have to sit and wait. After examination, the Nobel's team concluded that the site was evacuated prior to its destruction. Finding uniforms and equipment bearing the insignia of different organizations, it appears this facility was the property of the UN. Strangely, a number of embalmed bodies were found in a secluded area. The team was unable to determine the cause or outcome of the conflict, but managed to recover further resources. These have been packaged for extraction, plus 250 more people. Hot damn. All right, investigate the loading dock. This guy just out here doing his thing. Autonomy? What is autonomy? Oh, that's how long it can be away from the station before it needs to come back for, like, maintenance and stuff. I really don't want to build this, but I really don't have a choice in building this, so... A new request awaits your attention. Not there. Administrator, Sector 1 has almost reached its maximum structural load. With more infrastructure surely needed soon, a new sector will need to be unlocked. Originally, sectors were programmed to unlo automatically unlock after completion of the mission to Proxima Centauri. With the change of the Tycoon's mission objective, this restriction could be bypassed by manually overriding gateway lock algorithms. Yeah, I'll do it. We're gonna need to anyway. In fact, let's do it now. Okay, good. I was worried it was going to transfer more workers out than we had, but it didn't, so... big drain on our alloy reserves. Also, opening a new sector means uh, more hull depletion per cycle. So, you know, dangerous. Alright, so, the first thing that happens here is you go here, 
And you say, I want a workshop. And I want a stockpile. So that's the food, that's the the alloy, that's the workshop. Now each sector is independent. People will not live in a sector that, uh, uh oh, that's bad. I might not be able to get this done. People will not live in a sector that they uh, in a sector different than the one they work in, so you have to manage that, and it's really annoying. A science ship team has completed a task. Debris field immensity. Let's see what that has to say. Frozen human remains constitute the majority of the debris that surrounds the loading dock. Evidence suggests that the area experienced depressurization after a structural breach. The dock itself has been looted and partially dismantled. Several cairns have been left behind, arranged in helical shapes, and erected using makeshift materials. The team did find a few resources, and these have been prepared for extraction. Survey the dense area of debris. New sector has been successfully unlocked. This is a historic moment for Dolos AEC and the Tycoon mission. Yay, more trust. Not that I needed it. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Commander, an accident has occurred in the following buildings stockpile small. Stanford Decay Clane projections indicate that poor working conditions and power overloads can cause accidents. They can also just happen on their own. It should also be taken into consideration that larger buildings are more likely to have more serious accidents. So we have extra hours here because we don't have enough people. Which is kind of annoying, actually. Uh, what can I shut down to prevent... You know what? We can do this. We don't need to unfreeze any more people right at the moment. One crew member died during the last cycle, one in an accident. Yeah, that'll happen. Many of the crew are malnourished, according to Nikon... Niocond Bargeville Predicted Theory. Productivity will soon drop by 23%. Longer term starvation would not only increase this to 75%, also accelerate the proliferation of deviant behavior on board the Tycoon. What do you mean it requires a stop? Oh, it requires a mess hall. Uh, I should have built one of these. Oh. It's fine. All right. So you need to make sure that nothing bad happens there for two cycles. I can't actually get hull integrity up to 260 or 675. Crap. Not without building an EVA locker here anyway, which I could do.
what I really wanted to build here was a steel mill. Resource management. Uh, That's ugly. How much better? Yeah, that'll work. Doesn't look like it will, but it will. For stupid reasons. Oh, no, it won't. Never mind. I'm dumb. Still dumb. I need to move this over one space. How's it going over here? You guys good? Cool. Not necessarily good at this game, but I do enjoy playing it. Team has completed a task. About time, I'm busy. The wrecks of shuttle float shuttles float everywhere. Most belong to the UN, though there are some bearing the acronym BMS. 
Despite the many hazards and potential psychological impacts from the presence of human corpses, the Nobel team were able to locate some salvageable resources. Alright, gather up all that science. You guys are not starving, you're fine. Start building roads. All right, retrieved all signs from the debris field, so it's time to head over to Mars. Also, this right here is why you always want to leave one edge, and I completely forgot about that. One block width from the edges so that you can build all the way up and down. should actually be able to fix that. Hold on. 40 alloy, huh? I can do that. So we're producing 25 food per meal cycle, and we have 21 food being consumed per meal cycle. So right now, our food is okay. Could be better. Science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, Mars. An old disused complex named Richter's facility has been located on the surface of Mars. The derelict UN-owned facility is covered almost entirely by Martian sand. Existing Dolos clearance codes can be used to interact with the complex uh, complex's systems. Caution is advised as the weight of the sand may exceed the structure's load-bearing capacity. Crew of the Nobel will use access codes that were functional before the Tycoon's vol jump to interact with the Marsh facility. We need more candy rations? I don't have any more candy rations, I'm sorry. They were all eaten. Actually, that's not true. We didn't have that many trick-or-treaters this year. Maybe, like, three groups? <laughs> mutiny. You can't mutiny. You trust me 100%. You trust me implicitly. I'm not going to succeed at this. God damn it. If I hadn't opened this sector, I would have I would be able to succeed, but a science ship team has completed a task. I trust you 100% to die easily when I mutiny. The codes briefly reactivated the base's defense systems. Due to the facility state, they fortunately overloaded and are now offline. Team of the Nobel did not suffer any losses. Okay, so this one, it says, caution is advised as the weight of the sand may exceed the structure's load-bearing capacity. So. I 
I want to do this one. I don't know if I'm going to get the science, though. But yeah, I want to do this one. This is one of those you d only have the option of one choice or it gets risky, I think. Oh my god, there's no health buildings. Nobody's injured. It's fine. Gotta get the science. Get that science. The space squids will rule supreme. I miss that game sometimes. I haven't played it in forever. All right, it's building the new mess hall, which is great. And then we can deconstruct this mess hall and fix this problem over here. Administrator, a new request awaits your Hey, what's up? There are lots of cryonic pods in the storage. Living with the knowledge that loved ones could potentially be alive in, in cryonics is not having a positive impact on the crew. To ensure humanity's survival, the tycoon will need as many crew members as possible. Addressing the buildup of cryonic pods in the station's stockpile is recommended. Fine. Now you're working overtime. How do you feel? Ugh. See, now you're working extra hours. How many do I need for it not to be extra hours? Twelve? Ugh, this guy's taking forever to get rid of. Okay. Uh, so that one was free, so you don't get resources for built for deconstructing it. They thought of that, uh, and then we want this here for alloys. Team has completed a task. Excavation uncovered a preserved sub basement full of stored resources. Everything has been conditioned and prepared for extraction. I didn't get any research. Fuck you.
incident has been Mother f <laughs> Guys are gonna keep working extra hours until the morale improves. Turn this off, because we don't need it right now. <coughs> yeah, there's no way we're gonna get this done. We're only getting plus three per cycle, and we need to go up to 50. Not happening. Stop wasting alloys. Will this cause trust fall? Yes. Does it matter? Not really. Alright, we scavenged all the resources here. Except for these electronics part, which is fine. We'll need those in a minute. Yep, minus 15% trust, but it's all right. They'll recover. Pop. All right. Now that I've finally managed to do that, we can actually fix some of this garbage that I've done. Okay. Step one. There are so many people here. This is actually more important than secondary importance. Conditions are optimal here, so now I can turn... The, no. Still need seven more people. It's fine. Venus? That's Mercury. Let's do Mercury. Let's see what's in Mercury.
Look at that, we're already back up to 88% trust. It's fine. Of course, now we have another problem. We don't have nearly enough people to run this steel mill. Shit. That's bad. That's super bad, because I don't have an infirmary built. I'm trying to be smart about this, and I'm not actually being smart about this. Very frustrating. We need a lot more people. A lot more people. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. I was trying to keep that from people, you know. Mercury. I'm actually in trouble. I might have screwed up. I mean, this is recoverable, but I might have screwed up. Administrator, we are picking up a Dolos emergency frequency broadcasting from the facility Outer Hope. Dolos protocol dictates that in the event of a major systems failure, administrators must contact the nearest Dolos site immediately. Okay. Outer Hope Station is likely to have both the materials and expertise required to repair the damage that the Vol engine has sustained. Okay. Find a dolo station with a probe. Basically, it's saying you took too long to find it yourself, so we're just going to tell you what to do.
if I remember correctly, that is up here. One person every third of a cycle. It's not a lot. It is what it is. In order for me to turn this on, because it needs 30 people, cool. I need to get 21 more people into this sector. And I need to do it soon because the hall is deteriorating. And I have not yet found another source of alloys. In fact, there may not be another source of alloys. Oh my god, stop waking up non-workers. It's not that they're fucking useless, it's that I can't use them. That requires four people, that requires five people. Like, I'm just, I'm stuck just waiting. No more resources available to mine. That we found. Warning, a sector is being overworked. Mm-hmm. Moderate risk of accidents taking place, which is a uh, spiral, a chaos spiral, because the more they're overworked, the more likely they are to get injured, in which case you have less people. <laughs> but I don't have a choice. I need to make more alloys. enough to matter. Okay. Opening a new sector is one of the most difficult things to do in this game because they're they're far from self-sufficient. For quite a while.
Hey, look, it's the Kuiper Belt. Good old Kuiper Belt. Now ideally, and what I'm hoping to do, is build a docking bay here with a cargo ship that will just get iron and other resources and turn this into a manufacturing sector, but that's like way off. Uh, let's see. Outer Hope is surrounded by wreckage and debris from a past battle. Broken equipment and frozen bodies float around the station. The emergency signal is transmitting from inside. Nobel's team will search, investigate the battlefield to better understand what happened to Outer Hope. I also really need to build another EVA lock. The reflective properties of the sulfuric acid clouds would keep unwanted observers unaware, unknown. Yeah, 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 awakened enough cryonic pods. This place is still being overworked like hell. Maybe if these people could recover faster, you know? Jesus. An accident has occurred in the typhoons. Fuck. Yep, sure did. How many people were injured? Just the one? Nope, three. The overwork will continue until we have enough people. I don't have a choice. Okay. I could turn that off because we don't need to build anything right now. And that means that they're only on extra hours. Which will hopefully be resolved as we wake more people up. It's true, I do always have a choice. I could blow the place up. You still want the consequences. Yeah. Consequences of one of those choices would be everybody dies, so you are correct in that I don't want the consequences. We don't have enough iron. Fuck. If I build this here, and I could, that would work out for me. Sixty alloys. God, that's so much alloy. It's 
most of my alloy, but I feel like it's going to be helpful. Uh... Fuck me. You guys don't even have overwork. You guys got it fucking easy. Fifteen, thirty, forty-five, sixty, seventy-five, okay. Oh, right. The workshop isn't powered. We're almost there. We almost have enough people. Got a couple more people here. A science ship team has completed a task. The battle seems to have been made up of multiple engagements with debris from the conflicts mostly consisting of wrecked shuttles. Some of these destroyed ships bear the insignia of the UN, though the majority carried Dolos emblems. Sophisticated weapon systems were also identified among the wreckage, bearing the acronym BMS. The Nobel's team was able to scavenge some resources from the debris. Search out our home. I feel like there's something down here. Yeah, there we go. I kind of remember where some of these are. I would search everywhere anyway. And I'm probably still missing some stuff, but, you know, is what is. Ugh. You guys get one more, one extra person, and then stop getting into fucking accidents, please. Also, we are now running a food deficit. Lovely. That's what you want to see. So you're going to drop off the iron. It's going to go here and immediately get transferred to here and then go here because who cares about efficient supply trains, right? Well, Stumpy will be the only one left working in that place soon. Yeah. You're not wrong.
<laughs> meal cycle just ended. Right. I built this, and now there's not enough people. By one! Ugh. Saturn. Structure belonging to the Black Market Society has been discovered on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Though severely damaged, the site seems to still be active. Surface scans indicate the BMS station extends deep below the surface of Titan. Further data is not available due to the site firing upon the Tycoon's probe as it approached. That's not good. I think that'll be enough alloy for us to build those. Well, yes, personnel management is incredibly tedious in this game. Why do you ask? We have exactly enough food to cover our food, our costs. It's not good. The reason you want to unlock tier uh, tier three stuff is because that's where you start seeing better methods of food production. A science ship team has completed a task. Outer hope lies in ruins. A new request awaits your attention. I'll be with you in a second. Outer hope lies in ruins. Many embalmed bodies were found in the remains of the station. Dolo's crew protocols do not direct for this type of preservation. The Nobel's team traced the emergency broadcast and after clearing away several tons of debris, uncovered the station's mainframe. They were able to access and extract the Outer Hope's black box. Its so data can be analyzed using the Tycoon's tech lab. Yeah, we need those resources. Break it, break it down. We've received the data from Outer Hope's black box. Further analysis is required and extraction protocols can be launched via the Tycoon Tech Lab. So I think they changed it so that, yeah, this doesn't require any research. It just requires time. It used to be that, that all of the story important stuff needed research points. And there's only so many research points in the game. So you can actually lock yourself out there. So close. If people would recover faster, this would be easy. But no, my leg got crushed and I'm in a cast. Mwah. Being overworked. Oh, right, because this requires people. I forgot. Ha. Whoops. I don't want carbon, I want polymers. I just need a little bit of polymer, please. So actually, I need a, nah, 20 is good, 20 is good. We'll keep 20. They're like, finally, we'll have enough people to not be working extra hours. I build this, and they're like, shit!
Read the reports from the black box. How do I do that? Oh. Administrator, the black box's data has provided some information on the events that took place following the tycoon's failed vol jump. Records tell of how Earth was ravaged by the lunaclism. In the ensuing chaos, states radicalized and the UN declared Dolos an enemy of humanity. The black box's data also describes a Dolos facility hidden in the atmosphere of Jupiter. Officially designated Hephaestus, the site was used to develop a new type of vol engine. It also accommodated the construction of a Taurus-class superstructure known to Dolos as the Protagoras. This iteration on the Tycoon was sent to uh, was sent on a mission to seek out the habitable expo planet Remus, where the last survivors of Earth could establish a new home. Despite the damage done to Outer Hope, the station was still able to later receive a distress signal from the Protagoras, with Vol jump coordinates encoded, indicating the ship's last presumed location. All right, so we need to send an expedition to Jupiter. A science ship team has completed a task. Outer Hope has been dismantled. Resources are ready for extraction. Not a lot of resources, but whatever. Take what we can get. Beggars will and can and will not be choosers. New ship. The good ship Wallow. Alright, that's a weird name, but I'll allow it. Uh, we can change this to... Ice. God damn it, guys. I know you're all working hard, but I need you to be working harder and not being so stupid. Alright. So now iron will be de delivered here directly so that we can turn it into uh, alloy. The next step, once we have a proper supply of alloy, is to build the uh, polymer refinery and then the electronics factory. 30 silicon into one electronics every three cycles. That's insanely slow. Five carbon into five polymer every cycle. So we build this. We'll be good to go. Oh, right, you finished. Um, head to Venus. Oh. Sorry, give me a moment here. I'm just going to check something that I got from a doctor. Because I went to the doctor today. Oop. Ooh. 
That's not good. Okay. Good to know. My lipids are bad. I'm fat. Don't give me that judgmental look, woman. Jesus. Okay. We've got research. We should be spending research. Let's go. Why did you collect carbon? I don't want you to collect carbon. Like, at all. Well, now you're stuck with it. Until I say otherwise. Once these people come out of the infirmary, the things will be working much better here, but until then, we're just gonna have to keep hoping that we wake people up. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Probe data has revealed mining and industrial infrastructure below the surface of Venus. According to reports from the exploration team, the subterranean site consists of mining infrastructure and a large assembly line. Many embalmed bodies were found in the area. The line seems to have been originally used to fabricate solar sails. Tycoon's engineers suggest that with minor repairs it could be restarted. To produce refined resources, or we could dismantle it, or we could leave. But if we restart it... <clears throat> then we can still dismantle it. Probably. I don't actually have that many resources, but we should soon. That's a problem. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Three hundred and fifteen. So there are two people that are not. It also says it right here. That's cool. God fucking damn you people.
<clears throat> these assholes acting like I have all of this stuff to spare, and I don't. Oh my god, it's optimal here. Oh my god, it's optimal. Alright. It's optimal, but for the fact that the main the construction building isn't being built. Or isn't running. Which is fine. And I can't build that because I don't have anybody to build it. I don't actually need that rope then, do I? Hooray! Alternate life center and then memorials. Looking for iron. There's some iron. Alright, so they're building this to reactivate that line. They finally finished purging. Oh shit, uh, I do need that road. Whoopsie. It is still important that I get resources over here, since that's the only thing that's currently fixing the tycoon. But also, we gotta build this. Hooray! Okay. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Yeah, you, you have to get to 
higher tiers before you can do anything. So we are at least making resources. Or at least making alloy, I should say. Not necessarily resources, but alloy, which is good. We're going to need that. So we don't, you know, explode. We've got a pretty consistent line going here, so that's not bad either. Until we run out, because there's a finite amount of resources in the game. Assigned shift team has completed a task. The assembly line has been repaired. The machines belong to the UN and are clearly more advanced than our systems. They are fully automated and our team has been able to use them to prepare a number of resources for extraction. During the repair process, an engineer discovered a number of inscriptions written by... Ulysses. He speaks of his time as administrator of Neptune's Hyperlux station, Theaki, and expresses regret over the fate of the station's residents. He used the line to repair elements of his ship so he could reach the headquarters of the Black Market Society. So... Rude. Thought the resources I would get would be, you know, something else, but whatever. So this is Theaki's station, I assume. We'll head there next. Nobel, please go to Saturn. Eighty alloy is so much. Technology Memorials has been unlocked. And now... Upgrades are available for research. Exactly. And this is the good stuff. So, Crop Farm is nice, but it needs water. Mushroom Wall turns waste into food, which is very cool. Cell Housing is awful. Uh, it's, it can hold a lot of people, but it's absolute garbage and it has to be against a wall. Uh, DLS center is kind of important, but not right now. Colonization training center is important later. And waste treatment center is very helpful. It must be the next one that I need. Using a significant amount of water to produce a large amount of food. But, slightly more importantly, we can now do some of these. And we want this one. Because this is twice the size for more than twice the... Uh, do I have a request? No. Twice the size for more than twice the... Um, living space, living capacity. To turn that off for now. Because we are not making enough food. Uh, 
How many people are on here? Not many. Okay. Did we actually get all of them from the asteroid belt? Damn. Nope, there's still a fuck ton to recover in the debris field. Okay. So we need more research. Mining ship is getting repaired. Yeah, so we're, we're producing more steel than we're using, which is good. So we can use some of it for product, uh, for building. I want you to demand all of it so that we can clear this one out. Change this over to carbon. A structure belonging to the Black Market Society, blah, blah, blah. The Nobel is maintaining orbit around Titan at safe distance. Make contact. build this too, but not right now. Is there a reason it's not trans- oh, right. I just want one microchip. Just one. Three units every five cycles as opposed to one every 30. Five every five cycles, five every three cycles. It's okay, we still have enough work. Well, not we, no we don't. Once this gets resolved, we won't. No, actually we will, Never mind. How much power does this consume? Only five? Wow. Just enough. Okay. Change this to carbon. But it needs 15 people. Hmm. A science ship team has completed a task. 
After receiving no response to communication attempts, the team landed the Nobel and advanced towards the complex, security protocols in place. The defense activated briefly and fired on the team. Fortunately, there seems to have been little remaining power and they quickly shut down. Entering the complex, the team were attacked by strange animals. Recorded footage from the mission shows an enormous, an emaciated simian amalgam. Ugh. The team repelled the attack with improvised weapons and the creatures retreated. Unfortunately, no samples could be recovered. Venturing further into the complex, unsettling works of art and esoteric writing were discovered. Though the station is still pressurized, progress was made difficult due to the lack of any artificial gravity. In addition, a giant fungus has spread throughout the complex, releasing huge volumes of spores into the local atmosphere. Within what appears to be the main entrance hall, a bronze statue of Marduk Council member Giovanni Battista has been erected. Inconsistencies in the reports from different members of the exploration team suggested that recorded information may not be entirely accurate. Any conclusions drawn must be discounted. What the fuck does that mean? Inconsistencies in the report suggest that recorded information... Okay. Head farther in. Try not to die. You're purging waste. still need to actually find Jupiter, so... Gotta build another probe. Okay, swap this to carbon, and then sector two wants all the carbon. Swap this back to ice.
We are slowly getting up to self-sufficiency. Very slowly. How's it going there at the BMS? Oh, that's what the BMS is. Okay. Alright, I also want to find a good source of carbon if we can. Something kind of in this area. Right there. Get as much as we can. Because once you leave, there's no coming back. We also could probably get away with building another one of these, except for the fact that we don't have the people to do it. To run it. That needs 30 people. Also, you know what sounds... Has completed a task. Like a terrible idea? A steel mill in a closed environment. Venturing deeper within, the team of the Nobel reached a construction site, deserted and almost entirely frozen. Several possible storage areas have been identified, but are blocked by ice. The team could try to break through the ice or restart the station's heating system and attempt to thaw out the complex. In one of the storage areas, through the transparency of the ice, a preserved corpse can be seen. I think this makes things explode. I think if you... Um restart the heating process, it just makes things go boom. Which is about as bad as it sounds. I do want to keep, like, 20 in this sector. A probe has completed its scan. Hooray! Look, we've got 84 carbon and 467 iron. Jesus, that's so much iron. Ooh, silicon. Hmm. Yeah, do that. We're not going to be able to gather all this iron. The longer you stay in a sector, the uh, the more people lose hope. And oh, losing hope is bad. So the machines of industry are moving swiftly along. Still don't have a lot of research. Soyance.
Excuse me. Excuse me again. Jesus. All right, we need one more sector, or one more worker in this sector, or for these people to stop getting fucking injured. Okay. There's that silicon, baby. Mind that shit. Stockpile as much iron as we can. A science ship team has completed a task. Nobel's team recovered a number of valuable resources. Via biometric data sampling, they identified the preserved corpse as that of Elixes, administrator of Neptune's Hyperlux station, Theaki. The body was found with a handwritten letter of farewell and apology to the, hab the inhabitants of Theaki Station and appears to be unfinished. That's it? All of that for two fucking... Mm. There's Jupiter. Alright, let's see if we can't find Theaki Station. This is Outer Hope, which is not a thing. Okay, so you found all science, so build me another probe. Why do we suddenly need 101? Did I build something here? I did. I built that stockpile. Never mind. Hydrogen. There's something around here. A lot of iron. There. I, Jupiter, Saturn, that would be Uranus, not Neptune. And yes, I do pronounce it Uranus because I am not a child. here
Yeah, there we go. That looks good. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. We just got enough people here. Christ. Clicked out of the game, sorry. Instruments have recorded abnormal thermal activity at Uranus. At this distance, we are unable to deduce its nature or source. All right. Well, we're going to wait for the probe to get here. Whoa! Is Why? What in the hell? Oh. Power supply overloaded. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. You want me to build two batteries? I really don't want to build two batteries. It's a waste of resources. Do it to make the people happy. Uh, right. But I still have a problem with, you know, power, so. Power restored. There we go. Forty-five and one? Yeah, we can do that. Not to worry, everybody will trust me again soon enough. Soon enough. Soon enough. Oh, purging waste. How fucking dare you? Six crew members injured, one crew member killed. Are you guys, like... Trying to test my patience? Alright. Neptune. No bell. Get over there. How do you like how do you fuck this up? Yes, no kidding, one crew member died. It's because the fucking thing exploded.
How many does that need? Eight. That's not good. While this is purging, we have trouble. Get back to work, please. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. God, that's loud. Our communication systems have detected faint signals Sorry, transmitting from... Has yeah, yeah, yeah. Destination. Transmitting from what appears to be an old luxury station on Triton. Transmission analysis pulled a few data fragments and coded within the signals. They mentioned public disorder, food supply problems, and frequently referenced the name Ulixes. The Aki station has been almost entirely dismantled. The few areas left suggest that those who lived here were swimming in opulence. The place is huge. We have found a sealed room protected by heavily armored blast doors. Dents in the met door's metal suggest that others have unsuccessfully tried to gain entry. Liam Nolan suggests the use of explosives. Given the state of the station, I myself think this is a bad idea. Oh, but we have Ulixi's biometric data. We can open the room. Ha ha! Going to the black market society first pays off. Hoisted by your own DNA petard. I own my DNA petard. Alright, we are making enough food for now. <laughs> Hosted by their own DNA petard? Yes, correct. Accurate. So ideally, I would have another steel mill here so that I could make more alloy, because I'm going to need more alloy. I could make this entire sector just production, which helps because building specializations are a thing. If you have enough buildings in a sector to specialize, you get bonuses. I don't remember what the bonuses are, but I think there's one for residential population, which means, like, everybody that lives there gets plus one bonus to sector stability. But I don't remember for sure. That's all mined. There's still so much iron in this sector. And quite a few cryonic pods. We're waking people up just as fast as we can, but... The room security systems were designed to read biometric data. The doors were set uh, only to open for Ulixes. Inside the room were large quantities of resources necessary for the survival of the station's residents. Security protocol may have been put in place in anticipation of a staff revolt. 
So three electronics, 50 cryogenic pods, 15 science, and collapsible frames upgrade automatically unlocked. Which is actually the real bonus. It's not necessarily a good upgrade. Collapsible frames. Stockpiles can send two more res transporters. So I don't know if I need to do this and then this get I can unlock this. We can also get optimizations here. We will get most of these if we continue playing this game. There's a lot of science available in this game. Alright, two batteries have been built. Uh, all signs from Neptune. Good. Now head to Uranus. Okay, so we want this boss good. What do we want? That would be nice. That would be very nice. Production speed increased by 33%. It's not as helpful as you'd think. Nothing there. Man, I don't even know. Uh, wait, yes, I do. Whoop. The problem with the insect farm is that it's good, but it's space inefficient. The algae farm and other things are use space better to create more food. Um, the food economy is the hardest thing to stabilize in the beginning of the game and the easiest thing to stabilize at the end of the game. Like, not even a question. But I do need another steel mill.
Is this limited quality accommodation? Yeah. Getting. My god, dude. The electronics are nice, but they're not that important. There's people in these pods. Go get them. Fuck. Yeah, we definitely need another steel mill. This just isn't producing fast enough. We need way more than 15 alloy per cycle. Hooray. Very temporarily change that. I need one, please. Come on. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Our uh, control, are you receiving us? We found a tree. It seems impossible in such an environment. I've never seen anything like it. It's breathtaking. The tree sheds its leaves quite rapidly, but they reform almost instantly, crystallizing from the branches. The root structure appears to sink deep into the planet. I hope you're receiving our images. This feels like a fever dream. All right, cut it down. Wait, I actually need two. Of alloy for that, but fortunately, there's a lot of iron here.
Damn it. Get it out of here, please. An accident has occurred in the Fuck. Thank you. A science ship team has completed a task. Tane Muhata. When the tree fell, a plaque was revealed that had been buried beneath its roots. The tree was a collaboration between Henry Bargeville and Robia Nyokon when they joined the Asht Ashtangites. They offered their creation to humanity, hoping it would erase some of the debt caused by created by the atrocities of Dolos. Nobel's team felled the tree and have prepared the resulting resources for extraction. Yeah, I destroyed a tree. What's the problem? I destroyed a space tree. Suck it, nature. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. It sure is. It sure is. Using the encrypted channels and Dolos communications protocols found on Outer Hope to access the Hephaestus site seems to have woken the resident PA. Diagnostics reveal that prior to the failure of the site's data archiving systems, the facility had been in uh, inactive for several decades. Strangely, the industrial zone is currently powered and operational. Okay, that's weird. All right, it's bad, but it's not too bad. Is there no other carbon in the area? No, there's plenty of carbon. Just, nobody's fucking grabbing it. God damn it, Sector One, you were the chosen ones. They're supposed to be better than this. We have reached the automated construction site, which, despite its age, is still in good working condition. Although the Dolos technology here is recognizable and is much more advanced than what we have on board the Tycoon, in the control room for the site, we came across a mausoleum dedicated to Lair Fraus. The resident PA identified us as Dolos personnel and granted access to data records. These confirm that the Hephaestus site was used to construct and house an advanced prototype of the Vol engine, codenamed Ixian. An engine of this type is currently moored to an EKP structure with a harness link. Our engineers say one of our mining ships could tow this. Attaching the Ixian engine to the Tycoon will restore our vol jump capabilities. Mining ship will be dispatched to the Hephaestus site and attached to Ixian's harness. Ixian will be extracted from Jupiter's atmosphere, ready for installation. And now you know why the game is called Ixian.
We still have so many. 292 cryonics pods still ready for collection. Which means we essentially have to wake up at least 92 more people. Sorry, 119 more people. 219, whatever. We have to we have to wake up a lot of people. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to store all of them. <clears throat> Math is hard. They said the title, roll credits. <laughs> the only problem is I got to move the tycoon over there and uh, that's going to be troublesome because moving the tycoon means that you take damage. I can barely keep this thing repaired as is. Ninety alloy. I don't have ninety alloy. I have to make so much alloy. make sure it's going to have enough alloy for a few repair cycles before I start to build this. Still so much iron left. Wait, is there? No. That's iron that we've mined, right? No, there's still so much iron left. Oh my god. Nine. And then 528. Good lord. The silicon I'm not so worried about. It would be nice to have, but how much is it? That's exactly two microchips electronics which again nice to have but not necessarily super worthwhile a science ship team has completed a task extraction procedure was a success Hephaestus's PA helped us a lot during the operation she may try to contact the tycoon directly may we follow the self similar pattern So yeah, I need to move the Tycoon in the orbit of Jupiter. Which... not gonna be easy. Once I get this EVA up and running, it should be a bit safer. But I gotta get this EVA up and running.
Good news is once I am able to move the Tycoon, it'll be a little faster for us to get resources from that area. Because the ships won't have to travel quite as far. You purging? God damn it, you're purging. We got a little worker bot. Having these two steel mills is really helping out. It's fine. Give me a few minutes. Soon a lot of people are going to be homeless. Oh, it's one steel per crew member, essentially. Oh no, everybody is homeless. Yep. But everybody in Sector 1, trust me, so it's okay. Well, we collected 500 cryonic pods, so that's good. Now we're repairing much better. Much, much better. These guys are purging waste, which is wasteful, but you know, do what you can. It is so important to get these optimized crew quarters. So important. They're much more space efficient. The um, the best crew quarter is actually not that great. It definitely is more optimized in terms of space, but not in terms of resources. Perfect. Look at that hull integrity, baby. I also can't move the Tycoon because then everything will shut off. 
because the EKP engine takes that, all that power. Plus two from people living mostly in optimized quarters. All right, now the alloy is moving. Good. So now we can do it over here. One, two, three, four. Not sure what happened there. Five, six. So this is the reason why I always build these two at a time is because of the optimized quarter. These are badly optimized. Only 70 left. I don't have enough space for them. I can't do anything with ice yet, so there's no reason to stockpile it. And there's not enough here to make it worthwhile. And pull it apart.
Trust me, guys, I'm kicking you out on the street for a good reason. Hmm. I'd rather build something else there, but whatever. If it works, it works. Perfect little spot. Yay, the mining chip is now more experienced. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. How? Why? How could you how could this happen to me? That's right, I'm shoving you wherever I can fit you, people. If you don't fit, that's not my problem. Alright, Hall Integrity is now fully restored. We have repaired everything. Stop wasting resources fixing it. How many more are there to pick up? 25? Batteries, let's build one, two, three, four, five, six. Because, yes, we are going to need that many at some point. And this sector is energy heavy. It's going to cost most of our alloys to do it, but. There's still plenty of iron out there, right? Yeah, plenty of iron out there.
All right. We are now making iron as fast as we can get it. Where are you guys getting it from? Still way down there, huh? 192 to collect. That's all mined out. Still some carbon there. You're picking up iron from way over here where there's 391. Still people to collect from here, so we'll keep doing that. see where we can find more iron hopefully over this way hey look iron perfect all right we're just waiting for these batteries to charge up a little bit and then we can move the tycoon Sure it has. You're already out there. Look at this. Bardish is already getting ready to go. Integrity below 50%. That's okay. Once we finish building this battery, we are good to go for building. Probably. Gotta move to Jupiter. 2.3 cycles, perfect. So yeah, all power is diverted to the engines, but because we have enough battery power and it will last more than uh, the 2.5, um, 2.5 cycles it'll take us to get there, Production just continues. Everybody stays happy. Except, you know, uh, and yeah, moving is minus 50 per cycle. It's ridiculous. It hurts so much. Wish there was a way to see how much available housing you have. That was kind of cool, the retro rockets firing. An accident has occurred in the typhoon.
Prepare Ixion for Tycoon Connection. The older faulty engine will be removed. Does that actually get reflected? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. All right, the goal now is to get as much iron as we can before we jump. Because once the engine is attached, then it's... I love the fact that there's, like, shadows behind the planets. It's very cool. Um, once the engine is attached, people are going to be like, why are we staying in this? A new request awaits your attention. Clean Munchie algorithms have identified that staging too long in one system exacerbates dead earth sickness. This collective trauma will not begin to heal till the crew can set foot in their new home. We cannot stay in a system that holds no hope for humanity. So. It says minus one permanent, but as, long, as soon as we jump, it'll go away. But we have to be ready to jump. Wow. Hey guys, make me a probe. Immediate injury. Working together, the crew of the Tycoon and the team of the Nobel have prepared Ixion for connection. Final attachment protocols can be initiated via EVA airlock. Uh, yeah. Break that down. Administrator, we have received a transmission from the Hephaestus PA, Olympia. Tycoon, Ixion is now in orbit and ready for installation. You are not designed to calculate your own vol coordinates. Ixion will only permit you to use previously generated coordinates or to follow the vol signatures of others that have crossed self-similar space. To make your existence worthwhile, you will need to find the coordinates of the exoplanet that Protagoras is looking for, Remus. Vanya was right about the echoes of the future. I bestow upon you this miracle, and with it, release myself so that I may embrace the sleep that was stolen from me. In other words, we can only go to places that we know are safe. We cannot just jump randomly. We do not have that capability that was designed to be programmed into the Protagoras. Half a cycle. It looks exactly that. Well, it's not actually building yet, I don't think. They're still getting all their resources together.
Administrator, we are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using the frequencies recovered from Outer Hope's black box. Vol systems have been adapted for the new Ixian class engine. The Tycoon is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Mihai protocols are online. Stanford checks have been passed. The Ixian engine is fully integrated with Tycoon systems and we are ready for ignition. Vol jump coordinates can, may, uh, can only be generated by computational machinery utilizing Frau's tachyons, particle found in self-similar space. These calculations are one of the most valuable and best kept secrets of Dolos. Administrators, we have the jump coordinates to reach the last known location of the Protagoras. So now the question is, how long do you stay here? People are still happy. We got plus one on the happiness scale. So I'm okay with sticking around for a little bit longer to collect resources. How much resources? There's still 500 and 30 going up. There's still a fuck ton of iron available. Just an absolute masterclass of iron. So we'll stock up and then we'll jump unless people start to get crazy unhappy in which case we'll jump we also need more food the other reason that you want to jump is because there's no more research available here and not having research is dangerous because you can't support your population essentially Oh, you did pick up that ice. All right. So there's like 500 units of iron left. Oh, right. And then this. Yeah, grab that. Yay, the cargo ship storage capacity has increased. The accident has occurred in the typhoon. You weren't even doing anything. I hate you.
What are you idiots doing? Jesus. That's filling up. <clears throat> Alright. It's gonna be good enough. There's still quite a bit of iron left, but I'm not too worried about it. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Engine ready. Like I said, best song in the game. Let's complicate things, shall we? Jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Severe hull damage has been detected following self-similar traversal. Mm -hmm. Hypothesis. Each vol jump causes irreversible damage to the Tycoon structure. Predictive modeling suggests that four more vol jumps are possible before the Tycoon breaks apart. New mission objective established. The Protagoras possesses coordinates of the habitable exoplanet Remus. We must find the Protagoras in order to reach our destination. Space weather! Also, test colonization protocols. Welcome to Immorton. This area is a uh, plasma cloud. If you go in here, you take electrical damage. This is a cold cloud. If you go in here, you start running into ice crystals. Ba -na -na. Anyway, we've been going for about four and a half hours. Uh, each of these maps in the game is about that long. 
there is so much more to this game. Um, one of the things that can happen when you're investigating planets is the people that you sent down uh, come back wearing orange jumpsuits and everybody on your ship has been wearing yellow jumpsuits since they started. And they insist that they were on your ship. And it's like, what the fuck? Or you send a guy into a cave full of crystals and he disappears. And then you find a giant biological structure on another planet in another system that turns out to be his giant body dead. This game is weird. And I'm pretty sure the reason is because they say you're going to self-similar space, not self-same space. But I love this game. I think this game is well worth playing. I think this game is... If you like Frostpunk, you'll like this game. I guarantee it. But I'm going to wrap up for tonight. Uh, thanks, everybody, so much for joining me for today. Uh, I know this one wasn't on the schedule, and I know it was a day that I don't normally stream, but here we are. Uh, I will be back on Friday. We will be playing Final Fantasy XIV, playing the new 6.5 patch and getting ready to finalize that before Dawn Trail comes out next year. So look forward to that. Uh, as always, check out the stuff on the channel. We got all a whole bunch of Terror Select stuff wrapping up this week and next week. Uh, and yeah, have a great night. And enjoy this song. This song is so good. I really need to write, like, the essay on this music. Really do.